Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the Flamehead97 here. And before I start with this video, I'd just like to apologize for the lack of videos on this channel lately. I just haven't really feel like doing any videos as of late. But I'm back here for this video. And I'm here to review the new Fozzie album titled Boombox. This album was released May 6th, 2022. Got a total of 12 songs. This is their first album since their album Judas, which Judas was released in 2017. And they're back with the new album, Boombox, in 2022. So close to five years in between albums. So let's gonna get started with the review for the new Fozzie album, Boombox. So the first track on the album is the song Sane. This was one of the singles from the album we got. And honestly, when I first heard the song, I just thought it was decent. But after hearing it a few or so other times, I just think it's a pretty good song now. I mean, I don't think it's the best song on the new album, but I still like the song for what it is. You got some really great clean vocals from Chris Jericho, the lead vocalist of Fozzy. And he also has some pretty good screams within some of the songs. So, yeah, it's a pretty good song, and I definitely enjoy the guitar work on it. It's pretty heavy as fuck, so it's definitely awesome. So, yeah, man, Sane, I would give the song a 3 out of a 5 rating. Great song. Song 2 on the album is I Still Burn. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of the song, but... I still think it's okay for what it is. I'm not really going to say much about it. I just think it's a song that's just okay. So this song, I'd give this like a 2.5 out of a 5. Not a bad song, just not the biggest fan of it. Track 3 is Purifier. This was another single, and I think it's pretty good. I do personally prefer it over Sane and I Still Burn. I think it's a better song. Still not one of the best songs on the album for me, but I still like Purifier. I think it's a great song and one of the better songs out. I mean, one of the better songs when it comes to the singles. So, Purifier, I think I'd give this one a 3.5 out of a 5. Track 4 is a song, Army of One. This is a very melodic song. There's like no aggressive vocals from Chris Jericho at all in this song. It's just a melodic song all the way through. Still definitely a really good song though. I really enjoyed this one. So Army of One, I'd also give this one a 3.5 out of a 5. Definitely a song that's really great. Track 5 is called Ugly on the Inside. I really enjoyed this one. It may be one of my favorites on the album. I really like the lyrics and the chorus and stuff. So yeah, Ugly on the Inside, I'd give this one a 4 out of a 5. It is one of the better songs on the album for me. Song 6 is called Relax. This is a cover. Not the biggest fan of this one once again, so I'm not going to bother saying much about it. I just think it's a fine cover for what it is, and I have no original idea of who the original artist is because I don't even know this song, honestly. I just know Fozzie covered it on their new album, Boombox, so... I don't really know the original. But this Fozzie cover, I just think it's fine for what it is, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. So this cover, I'd give like a 2.5 out of a 5 rating. Song 7 is the song Nowhere to Run. This is the lead single from the album that was released back in 2019. So it's a shocker that this song even made the album because sometimes when music artists release singles before an album, Majority of the time, the single doesn't make the album, but however, Nowhere to Run still made Fozzie's new album, so that's definitely great, because I really enjoy this song. And when it comes to the single, or singles, I mean, this is my favorite out of the singles. I know that's kind of obvious, since it's the lead-off single released almost three years before the album, but I just think this was the best single. Some people may disagree, but that's totally fine. So yeah, Nowhere to Run, I really enjoy this song. And it is a great song. I mean, it's not their heaviest track, but still a good, good song, you know. So Nowhere to Run, I give this one a 4.5 out of a 5. I really enjoy this one. So track 8 is My Great Wall. 
this was a pretty good solid song here so my great wall i'd probably give this one either a 3.5 or a 4 great song Trek 9 is the song What Hell Is Like. This was a pretty good song as well. And when it comes to the non-singles, this is probably one of my favorites. Just a song that I really, really enjoy. So, the song What Hell Is Like, I'd give this one a 4 out of a 5. It was pretty good. Track 10 is Omen. This song is really great. I really enjoy it. It's a really amazing song. So, Omen... I think I'd give this one a 4 out of a 5 as well. Track 11, The Worst Is Yet To Come. Really amazing song. I know Korn also has a song with the same title on their newest album, but I personally still like this Fozzy song from their new album, Boombox. Just an amazing song. So this one, I'd give 3.5 or 4 out of a 5 again. So yeah, Worst Is Yet To Come is a great song. Closing track of the album is The Vulture Club. This is a pretty heavier track when it comes to the guitar work. I really enjoy it. So The Vulture Club, I think I'd give this one also a 4 out of a 5. I'm sorry I'm kind of all over the place with these ratings. It's just that I'm not the biggest fan of this album overall. I don't think it's as good as Judas. I just think it's a solid album for what it is. Could have been better, but... It's still good for what it is. I still like Fawzi and I'm glad that I still get to review their new album. Not as good as their last album like I said. So yeah I do have some complaints with this album. One is that the singles weren't really the best thing honestly. But Nowhere to Run is still my favorite when it comes to the singles. Some of the album's deep cuts could have been better as well. So yeah I don't think it's a bad album. I just think it's average at best so this album i think i'd go ahead and give it a five or a six out of a ten somewhere right around there not a bad album just not one of their best for me not as great as judas honestly so with that being said let me know what y'all think of fozzy's new album boombox these are my thoughts overall so yeah i'll sell next time peace